Okay, hockey mask on a snowman. Well then. Okay, good night, T. And there's a cat hedgehog flying thing. This game absolutely has creativity like the woe. And I figure this game has probably between, you know, five and eight stages, so... I mean, the fact that we have the best spell for the stars, and we've maxed out on health, means that... We, we gotta be getting close to the end, so... I, I would say, at best, five or six stages, really. Okay. Nope. Taking that. Dangerous stuff. Hey, we actually got one. <laughs> I completely forgot we had an elixir, <laughs> so all that face tanking on the last boss didn't even matter. Okay, max out our health. Yep. yep. Alright, so let's do this one. Okay. Interesting. And what about the other one? Hmm. I do not like how slowly that's happening. So, for a special it is. Yeah, I would say four special is the winner by far. Good lord. So, was not expecting a second one. if this is a Gemini man- oh, nope. I was gonna say, I wonder if it's a Gemini man-like situation where, you know, we kill one illusion and then have to fight the real one, but nope, they just both shared a single <laughs> hit point uh, meter. Now we got dragons. <laughs> well, actually, wyverns, or wyverns. Since they don't seem to have front legs. Dragons have four legs and a pair of wings. Wyverns have two legs and a pair of wings. And then you throw drakes into the equation and everything just kind of can be whatever. <laughs> health again. And yeah, it's just giving me all the same options, but I am super okay with what we have equipped currently. Seems like the best option. Okay. Hey, 
backwards. Hmm. That is weak. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. I don't know why it, um, wasn't shooting back. I, I, I don't even know. I'm not gonna try to <laughs> understand what's going on with this. These stars seem to want to shoot in a given direction, I guess. Not even sure anymore. But anyways, we'll just keep shooting this guy's helmet. Okay. into a shop. <laughs> All right. Get the feeling that means we're going into the final boss fight. And yeah, everything is well. Sure, it uh, we're, we're do these again. Damage all. Sure. Just buy out all of. Oops. And what's that? Two heart points now. Nah. Fill up on those and carry on. place absolutely feels like the final area. <laughs> oh, and there's uh, Kubali gone, so maybe this time we'll actually defeat him instead of just having him run off. There we go. Awesome. curious if the uh, Bullet Bill mini-boss will show up again, but uh, yeah, we'll see. This is new. Oh, it's you, it's you again, okay just fat metal. Interesting. That feeling that was coming. <laughs> Get back on screen, you. Awesome. So the game is absolutely generous with health. I don't think um, beating this without the aid of save states would be all that much of a problem.
Mm. You are new. Uh, it looks like I have to hit directly between all the uh, guarding spikes there, so this will be tricky. Never mind that, this will not be tricky. This will cost us some health, but it will not be tricky. happening. Oh, no, bitch, just dying. <laughs> okay. And again, we're getting crap tons of money, so leads me to believe there will be one more shop. these new enemies would have health power-ups, but nope. Alright, so I got it now. Um, if you are holding B and you hit A, the stars will move so that they are facing... they are shooting in the opposite direction of the last direction you hit. So I just hit left, now they're shooting right. I hit right, now they're shooting left. And if I, you know, hold B and hit A again, it stops their motion so they're only shooting in that direction. So I just use my elixir. If you are not holding B and you hit A, then the stars will rotate around and will only shoot in the direction if you had that set, or you can hold B and hit A and get them to move and shoot in the opposite direction. So, it's a pretty nifty system, all told. Oh, now. Sounds like we got incoming final boss music. Oh, ho <laughs> ho Awesome. I keep thinking that the, um... Uh, Moving lines in the background are attack lines. They are thankfully not. Overly impressive for a final boss. Maybe he'll have a second form. And maybe he'll just disappear. Is that it? That's it! <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Honestly, I really enjoyed that one. That was... Really creative, enemy-wise, really good, uh, weapon-wise. I liked the shops, I liked the fact that it was different stuff each time. 
and that, um, you know, each, uh, each stage had more powerful stuff to use. This was really, really solid. Oh, and evidently this was a port of a game from... I don't have a clue. Uh, snapped? Do you know... Like, what's... Uh, well, I'll search. Quick search. Magical chase. Oh, TurboGrafx-16. That explains quite a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I would... Yeah, checking into it, yeah. Looks... Quite identical, except with better graphics, because, obviously, far more powerful system, but yeah. I gotta say, if you're gonna play a handheld version of this, this seems pretty fantastic. But, um, yeah, it, uh, just looking at some screenshots here, I would actually say go seek out the TurboGrafx-16 original. Because, um, as good as this one is, it looks like the original is even better. <laughs> and is there anything that's gonna happen? Or... Oh! Okay, we get a password. Which, because this was... translated, apparently they didn't quite finish the translation. So I don't know if I should enter this at the title screen, or on the pause menu, or where that would go. Let's do a quick check. Let's see, Magical Chase, GB, Game Boy Color, Cheats. Level select at the title screen, input this code, and you get uh, level select options. So yeah, that was um, really good stuff. Highly recommended you play this. Even more highly recommended you go play the uh, Turbo 16, Turbo Tur Turbo Graphics 16 version. And uh, yeah, hope everybody enjoyed, and I will see you folks in the next game.